Hey. Happy 100 subscribers. I meant to make this video a while ago. And when all of a sudden, my one of my videos just blew up. And then it went from 100 subscribers to 118 subscribers. And this is peanuts compared to some channels out there. But it's a milestone to me. And I want to say thank you. And this is a thank you video. Thank you very much for clicking a button. Taking the time out of your day to click a button to see one of my future videos. Eventually. When I get around to it. Because I have a full-time job. But thank you anyways. Um, there's a few things I want to talk about and this is gonna be a talking video so if you don't like it and you just want to see a guitar then you might want to not watch this video this is the only video that I've done at all that I will talk about and you might find some things about me uh, that you might like or might not like and let's go um, I've couple things to talk about so basically what's my name my name's Chris so my my channel is x7x string or at Clark guitar that's a new thing that Google has implemented well my real name is Chris um, where do I live where do you think I live hmm. Americans think they're all about them right like Hey, I'm a Mar America. Fuck yeah! No, no, no. I'm Canadian, actually. I'm at, I'm Canadian. So, so there's that. Um, I have a couple questions for myself. How long have you been playing guitar? Uh, I've been playing guitar since 19. I think it was April 22nd, 1992. April 22nd, 1992. That was Earth Day, by the way. Um, I was all about, I was all about, uh, the music that was happening at the time was getting hit hard by Metallica, and getting hit hard by Nirvana, getting hurt, hit hard by Guns N' Roses, hard by, uh, Megadeth, and all these other bands, these indie bands were coming out, and much music was, much, much music loud was hitting hard so it's very influential um, playing live yeah uh, eventually I, after studying guitar in 1992 uh, I got I got okay I got pretty good in a short amount of time and I, we started a band with my friends and my, my friend Brian played ba uh, drums and uh, my my other friends play the other instruments, uh, and we formed a band, and we we played live quite extensively. I actually dropped out of high school to to, to focus on music, which was kind of stupid. But in hindsight, wouldn't have mattered anyway. School is pretty much useless nowadays, as long as you have a brain in your skull. Um, I kept going until I would say 2002 and then I had to focus on a job because you know we all need money right that's pretty bulk the whole the whole thing was a starving artist kind of thing so I needed a job and I got into a trade I got into tool and die and so I kept playing guitar I kept recording kept doing all that stuff and that didn't stop until 2005 when my first daughter was born and I I didn't stop because of her, I just stopped because of life. I mean, just because of life. Um, you know, if anyone who knows what's like to have a baby and a, and a, new, mo a new mother, uh, you all know that you don't have free time and you are, you are you were there and you want to be there so there's that I stopped playing until five years after that I tr 
ride to get back into it and I visited a guitar store. I'm like, yeah, I want to get back into it. It's been five years. I haven't touched my guitars. And I had a couple. Um, you know, you buy some strings and you restring it. You're like, yeah, this is going to be good. I'm going to get back into it. And guess what happens? You break a string. You're like, you know what? That's a sign. So I stopped. And I focused on my new career at the time. I got a new job. And I kept going and I kept going with that. And I did not play guitar. I, um, I got back into guitar in 2019. Just a little bit. So the tail end of 2019, I got into it back. Um, and it was my Ibanez that I bought in two, the year 2000. That's another video I should talk about my guitars that I have. Um, so I have four guitars. Um, the two guitars that I've had since what I'm talking about, my time frame I've been talking about is my Dean 7 string, MLX Phantom, and my Ibanez RG, I think it's a 470? I could be wrong. But it's an Ibanez RG. Uh, it's custom, it's made in Japan. Custom by me because I sanded off the new penny finish. Um, original pickups, stock pickups that are actually pretty fucking awesome. But anyway, I digress. What's next? Oh, and I got a question from someone right now. From one of my videos, my uh... I don't know if you can see that or not. What was said? Someone liked it. Um, anyways, moving on. Sorry, I'm probably going to cut that out. So I talked about stopping playing guitar and playing a guitar again. My old band. Uh, my old band was my first band. I had a couple of two bands. I had two real, two actual bands. So my, my first band was with my friends and that's typically how it works out. second band was actually my real official band it's uh, called one up grunt and there is a video in YouTube someone uploaded it someone found it and it's I think the song is called no sense it's, I was about 26 years old at the time and we played festivals you know independent festivals nothing major nothing sponsored by major labels or anything like that it was it's very grassroots, um, but it, I've, I've been around the block a little bit when it comes to playing live. i played live a lot. Uh, if I were to guess how many live shows I've played, I, I would say with an, with, a, with an independent guy, I would say about 50 shows. Not many. So some people might laugh at that. But anyways, moving on from that, so I'm not necessarily a YouTube guitar player. Um, my future, uh, what this channel is, I only want to show you, I think essentially what my goal with this channel was is show my kids, and I have two daughters. Uh, I have a daughter who's just turned 12, and... January 25th, she'll be 12, 2023, and my oldest daughter, Kaylee, hey Kaylee, um, he's gonna be fucking 18 years old <laughs> in July, on July 10th, and, and my goal is just to like, if I'm not around, at least they have an outlet to see their dad. So I don't have that with my family. So that's pretty much the reason why I'm doing this. It's not to make money at all. It's it's to leave it's to leave something behind. And that's why. It has nothing to do with money or monetization at all. 
so I'm gonna move on. Uh, comments. Uh, it's surprising that one of my best videos in the beginning was me restringing my majesty, my music man majesty, uh, John Petrucci guitar. Um, because I do know how to set up guitars. And I've always done it myself. I've never brought it into a guitar shop ever. To a luthier. I've always done it myself. Because I've been in Tool and Die. I know the trade. I, I, I get it. Um, but the thing is, um, that video was doing very well. And I thought, oh, that's a good video. So I can help people. And they ask me questions. And I'm very open to ask and answer. If I can answer your questions, I will. Uh, but if I can, maybe I can find um, the, the solution and get back to you. But what's surprising lately is um, that I'm getting a lot of feedback from um, the Temple of the Dog Hunger Strike video. Which is surprising to me, but not surprising. I feel like I cheated with the video and I'm going to come out clean. All guitars are me. So every guitar you hear on that video is 100% me. Um, I I use a Reaper program to record it. I used my Ibanez, as you can see in the video, uh, to record that. Um, so my Ibanez, that's a 20, 20, 21. I know, a 22 year old guitar made in Japan. I used that guitar with the original pickups. The V. What is it? V, v pickups. V6, V7. Um, and uh, I remember the tab back in the day, like, here's how you play it, and then this and that. I'm like, you know what? At this point, I'm like, I'm just going to play it my way. And if it's not right, I don't care. I like how it sounds. So when I made the video, I took Chris Cornell's solo vocal track and I put it on top of my guitars. And I also took, guess who, Eddie Vedder's vocal track and put it on my guitars. So the only thing that's original is um, the vocals and the bass and the drums. The drums are amazing, the bass is amazing, we all know the vocals are amazing. I just hope you guys like the guitar that I put on top of it. Because, you know, Mike McCready and Stone, like, come on. How can I... I just wanted to make my voice on it. And I'm very happy that you guys seem to like it. Uh, so far, the last I saw, we're at... Wow, I'm getting replies back now. Look at this. Thank you, Sarah... Sarah Baller? I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. Um, thank you very much for that. And you're more than welcome to ask me any questions, and if I can, I will answer it. I will always give you the time. If you're respectful, I will. Oh, she says... Chris Clark, how the grunge scene changed everything. Absolutely, grunge scene did, did change everything. You know what, I can, I can actually talk more about that. The grunge scene did change everything. We're talking Temple of the Dog, that video came out, that song came out. Temple of the Dog is the amalgamation between Pearl Jam and Soundgarden because of the death of the singer, uh, Andrew Wood, in Seattle, Seattle, Washington, America. I'm Canadian, so, I mean, and this was in 1990, 1990, uh, I guess, um, but uh, I've always loved that song, and I think it's super special, and I felt like before I made the video, I felt like this song deserves something. Like I'm, I was shocked 
by the music industry that no one had done anything with this song. No one had recognized it or pumped it up or it was basically left like excuse the term but left in the dust like it was it was it's it's too good for that. Chris Cornell's vocals at the very end through the entire thing they're amazing but it's it's absolutely notable towards the end of the song that it's 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 epic it's epic value so I had to do it like I had to do this video and I didn't see anybody else doing it so I'm like let's do it whatever I'll get I don't know I'll get a hundred views I'm a new channel <laughs> I only started a couple years ago. Let's do it. No, it blew up to now. We're like, what are we at now? I don't know, 8,000 views? Like, that to me is ridiculous. So I have 118 followers. Thank you, subscribers. Um, I don't make money off my channel. I do not. And that's not why I did it. Like I explained before. Um... The whole point of my channel was for my kids to see that, hey, here's my dad. He could play guitar a bit. He could play guitar a little bit. Check him out. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna make videos that are gonna suck, and that's okay. And if I make videos that are good, I hope you like them. Share them if you can. The goal is not to make money from this. Music is about emotion. Telling a story, like a movie is. It's not about monetary value. That's when you get corporations involved. So if you like my content, I hope that you would subscribe. And I'm sorry that I'm not uploading videos constantly or on a regular basis. I have a regular job, I'm a regular guy. I have regular bills like like everybody else. But have patience and if you don't like a video, stick around. Ask me a question. Say, hey, this sucks or this is good or maybe you do this. Give me ideas, maybe I don't know. Um, but uh, I just wanna end this video by saying like, thank you very much. This is for all the people that subscribe to me. When I started this channel two years ago, I didn't expect that I would even get 15 people to be subscribed to me. So I'm, I'm very happy and thank you for watching my video. You're taking your time out of your life to watch me. And that I appreciate. So thank you. Thank you very much.